Hey up, what's guys? It's Nina Tran here. Welcome back to another video. And guys, this is going to be another 30 day challenge video. This is the month of August now, so I'm going to start another challenge. And this is going to be the 5 a.m. challenge. What I'm going to do for 30 days is I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. every single morning for 30 days. So I'm a pretty busy kid, so I'm going to try waking up. 5 a.m. every single morning for 30 days and we're just gonna see what happens so I'll see you guys tomorrow on August 1st at 5 a.m. in the morning so day one I woke up and I was feeling absolutely exhausted I went to bed pretty late last night I woke up and I had a lot of work to do today so I got straight to work I felt like going back to bed a couple of times but I just had to push through and keep on working ended up being a pretty productive day so on day two, I was still feeling pretty exhausted when I woke up, but I just got straight to work because I knew that it would just go away. I went to sleep at 11 p.m. again, but I'm gonna try to go to sleep earlier so that I can feel well rested when I wake up. Day three of the challenge, woke up and I felt pretty tired again, but I went to sleep earlier, 10 p.m. I think I'm gonna try and keep on going to sleep earlier and earlier every night so that I don't feel tired when I wake up because when I wake up, I feel super tired and I feel like going back to sleep again, but I just have to push through it and work. I think this waking up early thing is motivating me to go to sleep early So day four, woke up, and honestly, this was probably the hardest day so far. I mean, we're not that far into the challenge, but today it was really hard to stay awake, even though I went to sleep. Actually, I think I went to sleep at like 10 p.m., so it kind of makes sense, but I've been getting like a lot of work done, so lately, haven't been having that much work, you know, still getting some work. So yeah, guys, the challenge is going good so far. I'm grabbing the wind, cutting my skin, but it's hard. Because I'm so it's day five of the challenge. I was still feeling pretty tired, uh, even though I went to sleep earlier, which is 9.30. I'll feel tired for like the first like two hours of me being awake. And after that, I'll feel pretty much good for the rest of the day. As long as I don't lay in my bed, because whenever I lay in my bed, I just, I'll, I'll just fall asleep. <laughs> Day six of the challenge. Um, for some reason, when I woke up today, I felt super awake and I didn't even feel tired at all, which is weird because I went to sleep pretty late last night, like 11 p.m. Like I didn't even get to go to sleep at 9.30. But yeah, guys, I woke up today and I was feeling great. So yeah, I just got straight to work and got my day started. So today I woke up, was pretty tired, and gotta be completely honest with you guys, I fell asleep like around 6 a.m. I was awake for like an hour working, and then I fell asleep 6 a.m. Woke up at 8 a.m. So I got like two more hours of sleep, but I did wake up at 5 a.m. So I did not fail the challenge. So it is day eight of the challenge, officially been one week of the challenge, so only got three more weeks to go and then I'm done. Honestly, I can't say that it's getting easier, but it's definitely not as hard as when I first started the challenge. I guess that means it's getting easier. I don't know what I'm talking about. Honestly, at, th at this point, I think I'm hallucinating. <laughs> 
So day nine of the challenge. I went to sleep pretty late last night again, like at midnight. So I only got five hours of sleep again. I'm gonna go to sleep early. And I know I've said that for like the past seven days, but this time guys, I'm gonna do it. Today is day 10 of the challenge. Officially one third of the way there to completing this challenge. I'm getting really used to waking up at 5 a.m. You know, they say it takes like, what, like 28 days, 27 days, something like that to get like a habit going. Day 11 of the challenge. Guys, not gonna lie, I've been having some pretty crazy dreams lately. I don't know if that has to do with me waking up at 5 a.m. Cause I mean, it's been happening ever since I started this challenge, but who knows. Day number 12. Woke up today and again, I was feeling good. But it's still pretty hard to stay awake for the rest of the day. Like sometimes I'll be wanting to like take a nap in the middle of the day and I'm trying not to do that. So just gonna try and stick to the 9.30 sleep time and then the 5 a.m. wake up time. And I mean, that's like, that's like what, like nine, nine and a half, wait, eight hours. Wait, yeah, yeah, eight, that's about seven and a half hours of sleep. Guys, I swear, I, I, I know math. Okay guys, so it's day 13, but I swear when I woke up this morning, I literally woke up and I was already stretching. Like, 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 you know that stretch that like cats do where they're like, they flip and bend their backs in half? Yeah, I was already doing that before I woke up. And, and then I checked the time and it was 4.59. Stuff's crazy, bro, I'm telling you. So it's day 14, not feeling that tired throughout the day now. And uh, I'm actually getting a lot of work done. Day number 15, halfway through the mother flipping challenge. In the beginning, I would feel tired throughout the day, but now I don't even feel tired throughout the day and I'm getting lots of work done. But so far this challenge is going well, so let's see what happens. So day 16, went to sleep pretty late last night. So when I woke up, I did a little bit of work and I immediately went back to sleep. Woke up again about about 8 a.m. Guys, don't judge me because I went to sleep like super late. I'll try to get my sleeping schedule back on track again in a couple of days. All right. So day 17 is the first day of school for me. I got up and I had no problem with feeling sleepy because I was way too excited for school. So got up, got a lot of work done and started school. So day 18, I woke up and you know, because of school, I don't know, something with school just gets me so motivated. I've been waking up and then just getting straight to work, not going back to sleep, not feeling tired of anything. And I know this isn't gonna last forever, but I'm gonna use this energy to my advantage right now and just get like a crap ton of work done. Challenge is going pretty successful because I'm getting a lot of work done now, you know, that I'm in school, getting pretty busy. So waking up at 5 a.m. helps a lot. So day 19, yeah, this whole waking up at 5am thing, it's been encouraging me to go to sleep earlier, which I have been, so I don't feel tired so I can get as much work done as possible during the day. But yeah, guys, feeling motivated every day, about 10 more days of this challenge left and I'm feeling pretty good. Day number 20. Uh, woke up, did feel a little tired to be honest, but still been working hard. Um, challenge is over in 10 days, so we're two thirds of the way there. And I mean like, this challenge feels like such a long challenge, but looking back, it seems so short. But anyways guys, day 20 complete.
So day 21 of the challenge. I went to sleep pretty late last night. So I woke up feeling absolutely exhausted. And I was feeling tired throughout the day. But this was the last day of the week. Um, first week of school went really well and really successful. So yeah, guys, weekend starts now. But I'm still going to be waking up at 5 a.m. So day 22 of the challenge. Honestly, I can't say I've been going to sleep earlier. I've definitely been going to sleep later because I've been a lot more busier with school. But I have been sleeping better when I do go to sleep because I'm so tired. Still trying to stick to the 5 a.m. wake up time. Sometimes it's pretty hard. I only got a couple more days left for this challenge, so I'm gonna stick it out till the end. Day number 23. Um, honestly, I don't really know what to say anymore. Same thing, woke up, got some work done. A lot of work done, cause I had a lot of work to do. Cause I'd be slacking. But anyways guys, I got that work done. Okay guys, day 24 of the challenge. Been super busy lately. I'm really trying my hardest to stick it out to the end of the challenge because I'm so close, but ever since school started, it's been getting a lot harder because, you know, I've been going to sleep later and I still have to wake up really early. I really don't want to fail this challenge because I'm so far into it already. I'm not about to fail it right now. It's just a couple more days and I'm good. Okay guys, so day 25, the verdict for today, or I don't even know if that's the right way to use that word, but I'm definitely starting to think that this is not really a good idea, just waking up at 5am every single day. I feel like sometimes you do need to give yourself a break. I'm gonna keep on going till the end. I'm not gonna give up now, guys. Alright guys, August 26th, woke up and I was actually pre feeling uh, pretty good. Still be going to sleep at 11pm, trying to go to sleep earlier, but it's pretty hard now since I'm in school now. So the earliest I ever go to sleep now is just 11pm and I'm just gonna accept that. Whatever dude, 6 hours of sleep, it's not good, but it's what I can manage. I think I'm about ready for this challenge to be over. Day 27 of the challenge. Woke up feeling good and I actually went to sleep pretty early last night. Guess what? 10 p.m. bro. But yeah guys, I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm really gonna stick out stick it out to the end. I've really fallen into the habit of waking up at 5 a.m. Soon as I wake up, just jump out of bed immediately. Just get yourself out of that freaking bed and then get to work. You can do it. Day number 28. Only have to do this two more times after this. You guys, you guys already know. I don't know why I decided to make a voice voiceover every single day for 30 days. Alright guys. Day 29, only one more day after this. No point in giving up now. I mean, there's really no point in giving up. I mean, just one more day. So yeah, guys, see you tomorrow for the finale. All right, guys, day flipping 30, last day of the challenge, guys. Woke up and I was super exhausted because I had so much work I had to do last night. Stuck it out to the end like I said I would. But this is it, guys, last day of the challenge. I freaking made it.
All right, guys, the 30 day 5 a.m. challenge is finally over. So now I'm just gonna give you guys my thoughts. So basically these, I mean, this past month has been crazy. I mean, absolutely crazy. You know, I started school this month, so that's why I kind of wanted to do this challenge now to, you know, get into the habit of waking up early, getting work done for school and stuff, because I'm pretty busy right now. So yeah, guys, I stuck it out to the end. There's some times where I felt like giving up. Sometimes I felt like sleeping in because I was like too tired or whatever. But I stuck it out to the end. Woke up at 5 a.m. every single morning, every single day for 30 days, guys. Honestly, dude, I still can't believe I did that. I definitely do think that I'm in the habit now of waking up at 5 a.m. Because now I think at this point, if I don't wake up at 5 a.m., then I'm just going to feel weird. But... I definitely do think that you should not do this every single day. I feel like you should maybe sleep in like once or twice a week. Not like sleep in like super late, but like wake up a little later, maybe like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., something like that. Depending on if you're an early bird or a night bird or whatever. I definitely do not recommend do this every single day because sleep is very important, especially for a teenager like me. You do need to get your sleep. Ever since school started, I started sleeping later, like 11 p.m. or midnight, and then waking up at 5 a.m. That's only like five or six hours of sleep. Yeah, guys, definitely do get a lot of sleep. I definitely learned that. So I am going to definitely keep on waking up at 5 a.m. for school because I'm already in that mindset, you know. For weekends, I'm going to sleep in a little later. Maybe wake up at like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Which I know that sounds crazy, but that's like late for me, I guess you could say. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. I mean, I literally spent a whole month filming this video, so it would mean a lot if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys for this video. So hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, guys, never stop dreaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.